Stepping Through Time by Carrie Lane. Shoes are like jackets for our feet. We wear shoes to keep our feet warm or cool, to protect our feet from the rough ground, to help us play games and sports. Shoes can show us what people and places were like. In this book, you will step through time and see the sorts of shoes people wore long ago. The first shoes. Early humans wrapped animal skins around their feet and tied them to the ankle. The skins protected their feet from the rough ground. These shoes look more like bags than like the shoes we wear today. Ancient sandals. The ancient Egyptians lived in a very hot land. They wore sandals to keep their feet cool, to protect their feet from the hot sand. Most Egyptians wore sandals made from palm leaves. Sometimes they painted pictures on the soles of their sandals. The sandals had long pointed toes. Egyptian kings wore them. This showed ordinary people how important the kings were. The ancient Romans and the Greeks, who also lived in hot land, like the Egyptians, they wore the sandals too. Their sandals were made of leather. Roman soldiers wore sandals that laced high up on their legs. This showed that they were very important people. The ancient Greeks liked playing sports and games. They often wore sandals that helped support their ankles and feet. Traditional shoes. Native Americans improved the idea of wrapping animal skins around feet. They made shoes to fit their feet. These shoes were called moccasins. Moccasins were made from animal hides such as deer or buffalo. They had soft soles that helped hunters walk quietly while searching for food. Notice they also decorated them with beads and other decorations. These are traditional shoes of Japan. They are called geta. The stilts on the bottom keep the wearer's feet above the wet ground. Look at these colorful traditional boots. Mongolian horsemen wear them during the cold winter. Again, see how they're decorated with color and stitching? Weird and wonderful shoes. In Europe, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, shoes were made of many different shapes, colors, and styles. Look at the shapes of these shoes. Look how long and pointy they are. This is an actual picture of a sh the shoe. People wore shoes that were very long with very long toes. These shoes were called crackos. The long toes were sometimes stuffed with hair or moss. The men in this very old painting were wearing crackos. See them here? Look how long their feet look. Some people wore only stockings to protect their feet. When it was wet, shoes like these were worn to keep the stockings dry. See how they're like a piece of wood? And then there's fabric on the front to hold it on. People also wore boots made from leather. Some leather boots were made with whalebone. The whalebone helped stiffen the pointy toes. These shoes were very common. Their style was based on the ancient Greek sandals. Look at this shoe. It's called a bear's paw and was made in Germany. Kind of looks like fins or something. Fancy shoes. As time went by, shoes became very stylish. They were made out of many different materials and came in many fancy styles. In Venice, some ladies wore shoes like these. They're called chapons. Look at that. They're like high heels or stilts. Chapons help keep the ladies' feet dry. They also stop their long dresses from getting dirty in puddles or mud. So they really were like stilts. This is actually the front toe of one of those shoes. It's 22 inches high. Some women wore shoes called patents. These overshoes protected another pair of shoes from the dirty streets. They were very hard to walk in. Some men wore lace to decorate their boots. The tops of their boots were wide like buckets. Look at that. We have galoshes nowadays that are made to protect our shoes, right? You could wear a galosh over your sh shoes. Men also wore fancy shoes. King Louis, I'm not sure what number, the fourth, 14th, 
of France wore shoes with heels. He wanted to show that he was higher than everybody else. See his high heels? You know of men wearing high heels nowadays? Not really. Boots made for walking. As time passed, boots were very popular with both men and women. These ladies' traveling boots were worn for walking or traveling. In England, this style of boot was worn by both men and women. Look at these boots. They were very modern for their time. They had elastic sides and were easy to put on. There's no buckles and there are no laces. Beautiful slippers were also popular with men and women. These slippers were sometimes called carpet slippers. Shoes are fun and sports. Shoes kept changing in style and shape. Highly decorated shoes were worn for dance parties. And again, now look, the dresses are shorter so you can see the dresses. I mean the shoes, right? The ankle is exposed so you can see it. These shoes were very popular with men and they were called brogues. Some movie stars wore these shoes too. Notice they're two color. Look at the early sports shoes in this photograph. They were worn by people playing tennis. Look at the early mountain climbing boots. The soles had nails in them to help the climber cling to the mountain, right? We have cleats nowadays. So I guess that's what they made before cleats existed. Modern shoes, look how far the shoe has traveled. People are still wearing high heels just like they did hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Look at that, it looks like a spring. And those are platform shoes, right? And shoes for parties and dances are still very beautiful. Sandals are still good to wear when it's very hot. They keep our feet cool. Look, that's got a little umbrella on it. It's got flowers, all kinds of things happening. Today, moccasins look very different. Loafers are shoes that look like moccasins too. Look at the modern mountain climbing boots. They have metal spikes attached to their soles. Sport shoes are comfortable, stylish, and very, very popular, right? We wear sneakers almost all the time. Look at these shoes. They look like sport shoes, but people wear them to be fashionable, not play sports, right? You couldn't play a sport in this because it has such a high, thick sole to it. You'd hurt your ankles. Stepping through time. Here we have the first shoes that we saw in the beginning of the story where they wrapped them. They almost look like bags going on to sandals and the very different types of shoes moving us to current. Think about the shoes that you wear nowadays. What would you like as a design for a shoe?